Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Welcome to a new episode of Sports News Flash at 12 with your weekend sports anchor, Miguel Mike Medina. I hope you guys are having a terrific weekend. It has been another sensational week of college football, week four. And the game of the week for college football is Tennessee versus Oklahoma. Tennessee, I picked them to win this game, and they won this game. They defeated Oklahoma 25 to 15. Coach, Coach Josh Hupel, he got his revenge on Oklahoma. This has been talked about this entire week about how he will approach this game. This is the same school that he won the national title in 2000 as the quarterback. Mm -hmm. And things got very serious when he got fired as offensive coordinator after the 2014 season. So 10 years later, he was dreading and wanting this game, whether he says it or not. The Volunteers had a total of, two, of 345 yards. Their defense held the Sooners to just 36 rushing yards. The Sooners converted only 3 of 15 in third down possessions. Michigan versus USC. Michigan defeated USC 27 to 24. Running back Kalo Mullins had a big game with two touchdowns and rushed for 159 yards. His longest run was 63 yards. Michigan held a, had a total of 290 yards. Mullins, he was responsible for scoring the game-winning touchdown late in the fourth quarter. Michigan and USC, they've played about 10 times in the past. Eight of them came in the Rose Bowl, and they haven't faced each other in the regular season since 1958. That's a long time coming. Michigan, um, they were fortunate to win this game. Very fortunate. Some of the things they need to fix is turnovers. They had two big turnovers in this game. They have to clean that up in the next game. And uh, speaking of comebacks, Colorado Buffaloes, they played against Baylor Bears. They came back to win this game after trilling 24 to 10. And, you know, Shador Sanders and LaJonte Wester, they had a connection, a special connection in this game. And the biggest one came at the end of the fourth quarter. It's very rare to see a Hail Mary. Again, it's very rare to see a Hail Mary touchdown for a tie or to win the game at the end of regulation. And it happened last night. While trailing, while trailing by a touchdown, 31 to 24, Shador Sanders, he threw a Hail Mary pass to Webster to tie the game and send the game to overtime. Running back McKay Welch, he scored the touchdown, which made it 38 to 31. And but that Hail Mary will be will be one of the best moments of this year's college football. But Colorado won 38 to 31. It ended in a little bit of controversy. If you've seen the game, if you saw highlights, then you know what I'm talking about. But Colorado came away with a victory. Big win, big win for her, the Colorado team. Utah defeated Oklahoma State. This was one of my favorite games of week four. They won 22 to 19. Running back McKay Bernard, he rushed for a career high, 182 yards. This was, again, another impressive comeback victory. I love seeing comebacks, especially in college sports. So this was an impressive comeback victory for Utah, who made their Big 12 debut 
after leaving Pac-12. Cam Risen, he was injured for this game. Therefore, freshman Isaac Wilson, he stepped up. He threw for 207 yards and a touchdown and ran for 41 yards. The UT's defense limited Oklahoma State to just 119 yards. Great victory by Utah. Great victory. And how about this? This was a very high-scoring game between TCU and SMU. The Mustangs, they defeated TCU 66-42. to They got four touchdowns from running back Bradshaw Smith. Coach Sonny Dykes, he got ejected after two unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. That's his first career injection in 15 seasons as head coach. Quarterback Kevin Jennings went 14 of 19 for 137 yards and two touchdowns for the Mustangs. TCU's quarterback Josh Hoover threw for three touchdowns and 396 yards, but he had two interceptions in this game. The Mustangs held TCU to just 65 rushing yards. Also, TCU had 14 penalties. You can't have that. You can't have that. As for other college football news, B BYU improves to 4 0. Liberty University also improves to 4 0. Rutgers and James Madison are 3 0. And we got to give a special shout out to Army football team. They improved to 3 0. Bryson Daly ran for three touchdowns and threw two touchdowns. Army won 37 14 over Rice University. We're going to go into this commercial. When we get back, we're going to talk about some NASCAR, golf, and MLB. We'll be back after this. Gratitude erases negativity. Gratitude erases negativity. Gratitude erases negativity. That is one of the merchandise that I have. You can go to the online store, my online store, Mike's Product Shop. It's called Gratitude Erases Negativity. I have t-shirts, coffee mugs, notebooks. Check it out once again on my online store, mikesproduct.shop. Welcome back to Sports News Slash at 12. Kyle Larson, he won Saturday's Bass Pro Shops Night Race by 7.088 seconds over Chase Elliott, his teammate at Hendrick Motors. Larson led 462 of 500 laps at Bristol Motor Speedway, and he advances in the NASCAR Cup Playoff Series. No driver has led as many laps in a victory at Bristol since Kale Yarborough. Um, no, Kale Yarborough, excuse me, in 1977. So he's in great company. It's Larson's fifth win of the season and 20th overall of his career. Unfortunately for other drivers such as Ty Gibbs and Martin Truex Jr., they have been eliminated from the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. Off to MLB. The Detroit Tigers. The almighty Detroit Tigers. We didn't see this coming, but they have been one of the hottest teams lately in the second half. They defeated the Baltimore Orioles, who were one of the hottest teams in the first half, but they've cooled down lately. They defeated them 6-4 to four on Saturday night. The Tigers have won 10 of 13 games. And they have moved within a half game of the Twins for the final American League playoff spot. 
As for Baltimore, like I say, they've been struggling. However, they are still seeking to clinch their second consecutive postseason berth. The Tigers improved to 81 and 74 this season. What an amazing story. The Arizona Diamondbacks, they silence the NL Central champions, Milwaukee Brewers. They won five to zip. Jack Peterson, Jose Herrera, and Cattell Marte. I'm a fan of Cattell Marte. They all hit home runs in this game. Arizona's right-handed starter, Merrill Kelly, he improves to 5-0. He striked out six batters through five innings. However, he had to leave the game because he caught a cramp on his right calf. So we will have to wait for the status on what's going to happen with him. Bad timing for him to get injured. Arizona is one game ahead of the Mets for the second NL wild card. And to wrap things up, we're going to talk some golf. Mateo Manacero leads the BMW PGA Championship after three rounds. It's been 11 years since he won this event, and he was 20 years old at the time. He has a chance to win um, if everything goes right for him in round four today on Sunday. Manacero, he shot nine under 63 to take a three-stroke lead. If he wins this event, it'll be huge. It'll be a feel-good victory for the Italian golfer. However, he can get overzealous because he still got to get the job done. Why? Because you have a guy like Rory McIlroy who sits second place behind them, and Rory had a uh, has been having a good tournament so far. Also, we got to think about Billy Porsche as well. So I believe that this will come down to Mateo, Rory, and Billy to see who will win this tournament. And that concludes this episode of Sports News Flash at 12. Feel free to email me. Let me know what you like and dislike about this episode. Any questions that you may have, shoot me an email. Enjoy round four of this golf tournament, some baseball, NFL football. Hopefully um, this week of NFL football is better than the previous two weeks. Enjoy your Sunday. Stay safe. May God bless you and your families. Many blessings to all of you. And like I said, may God bless each and every one of you. Have a positive mindset, think positive, and continue to chase your dreams. I'll see you guys next Sunday for a new episode of Sports News Flash at 12. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, all right? And don't forget to go to my online store, mikesproduct.shop. Take care, everyone. And like, like I said, may God bless each and every one.